calling in my soul tribe family. Once again, welcome to my channel. My name is Kara, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Ableton. More specifically, my Ableton vocal template that I just released on my website, imcara.com. I also released a couple different templates from Logic, FL Studio, and Pro Tools as well. I just did a tutorial on Logic a couple days ago. Today, we're going to be looking at Ableton, and I'm going to show you how to use the template, and I'm also going to be collaborating with my boyfriend, Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game, who's going to be taking on the mixing portion. So let's go ahead and get right into to it. First things first, I want to tell you about the song we'll be using today. It's a cover of Nina Sky's hit record, Move Your Body, which we flipped into a movie trailer ballad. So let's take a listen. Roll up in the club, look and fly. Cool. So I'm going to be recording in the second verse here. So I've already deleted this portion of the track. Before I record in Ableton, the first thing that I like to do is make a shortcut to record. So I do that by clicking Command K, this record button up here. And then I click the letter R for record. And that's it. All you have to do is click Command K again. And now we have a shortcut. In this tutorial, we're gonna be using Ableton 11, but if you have Ableton 10, the template works just as good. I'm gonna be recording on my lead channel, which is this blue channel. So I'm gonna click the record button here. And I already have a four click metronome selected so that I have a count in and know when to start singing. And I also want to start a comp. So I'm gonna right click on my lead and click insert take lanes so that when I record my take, it automatically goes into that playlist. I already have a metronome selected for my count in. So I'm just gonna click R, get my lyrics ready and I'm ready to go. Whoa, you're feeling now, take it slow. You're turning me on, club get warmer. Bad and moves closer, one with the rhythm. Don't stop moving and making me hot. So that was a great first take. I want to record one more just so I have something to comp from. And all you have to do is just click record and Ableton will record and save your first take. Oh, you feel it now, take it. Oh. Now that I recorded in my two takes, I am ready to comp. So in Ableton 11, we have this playlist feature and to be able to comp your favorite takes, all you do is highlight and click enter and then that's what's gonna be selected for your lead. So let's go ahead and listen and pick my favorite parts. So I just comped my final lead. There are a couple spots that I want to re-record because of flat notes or just because I thought I can sing it better. So what I'm going to do is punch it in. And that simply means that I just take that one little part that I want to fix, delete it, and then re-record it until I get it the way that I want it. And a great way to punch in is by clicking the space bar, have it start playing, and then you click the record button where you want it to record. So let's go ahead and do that. From head to toe From head to toe Alright, I like that take, so I'm gonna keep that one And then there was a spot here that I wanted to try again Vibes get stronger Yeah, I gotta get those notes better Party seems longer so Vibes get stronger Party seems longer Let's try that again I feel your flow Get stronger, party seems longer. The flow, vibes get stronger, party seems longer. Okay, all that was great except for the seams. Longer, party seems longer. Let me just try this one piece last time. Get stronger, party seems longer. Party 
seems longer Party seems longer Makes me really want vibes get stronger Party seems longer Okay, so I like this take, but it's slightly out of tune on longer. So a quick way to fix your tuning in Ableton is by highlighting your note. Longer, long, long. Zoom in a little bit more so I can get a more defined edit. Command E to make it its own piece. And I'm going to transpose it. But it seems long. Longer, longer, longer. longer. It seems longer. <laughs> All right, awesome. I think we are done with our lead. The next thing I'm gonna record are my doubles. Now, since this is a verse, there aren't too many doubles that I want here, except for this first note and the last note. I'm gonna go ahead and record enable my double right, which means my right ear, and then we'll go ahead and do the left. Oh, Doubles are great just to make a lead vocal sound bigger and more impactful. Make me hot. Make me hot. All right, I got all my doubles for this verse. Now it's time to do harmonies and backgrounds. Now I already recorded this song, so I have a good idea of what I'm gonna be recording. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. When I'm recording harmonies, I always like to stand back from a microphone a little bit more than I would my lead because we don't necessarily want them to be the forefront. We want the lead to be. We want this to just support the lead. Oh. Also, since I want my workflow to be a little bit faster, I don't need this count in anymore. So I'm just going to go up here and click none. So it's just going to start immediately. Now, if you have a hard time singing that high, like the high octave or the low octaves, or if your singer's having a hard time, you can easily do the same trick with little altar boy, pitching your vocal an octave up or down. Either way, it does the same thing. Take it slow, turn me on. This part, I kind of hear more of an ad lib, so I'm gonna go ahead down to my ad lib track and record and enable that. Turn me on. Turn me on. I would like to consider my ad libs to be the sprinkles to my vocal. It just adds a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor and color to a normal vocal. In the original song, they actually do a repeat of that word, so I want to emulate that. This type of background vocal creates a call and response effect in your vocal. So this is really great to maybe fill in some space if you have a big space or to add a little bit more rhythm to your vocal. Amazing, I think we're good on that. To keep your momentum in the studio while you're recording, you can just keep the same track record enabled and then just drag these takes down. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to add a couple layers of the I really like to utilize sound effects in my vocals because it adds an interesting dynamic and it allows you to be creative without using words. And I trail that breath out a little bit longer in my background vocals so that it can linger a bit more. From head, from head to toe. I think something like that would be really cool in this space here. Once again, I just want to fill in the space, but I don't want to add too much to where it's a distraction from the lead. Head to toe. Now, another thing that I think would be really cool in this part is if I add two layers that actually go up at the end instead of going down like the rest of the takes. So since they're swoopy, I need to turn down the auto-tune so that it's not dictating the notes too much. Turn this down, see if that helps. Yeah, that did the trick.
Since this is a shorter spot, I think I'm just gonna add one word like flow. I like to stack these background vocals with either the octave or another harmony to really emphasize it and make it sound wide. All right, now it's time to clean up this vocal. First and foremost, I always delete all the excess space and breaths in our background vocals. Uh, we do this because we don't want any noise, pops, clicks, background noise, and when there are a million breaths going on, it sounds extremely messy. So we want our vocal to sound as clean as possible, and this is a great way of doing that. So Take it slow. Turn Some fades on here. You can actually highlight this whole stack and click Command Option F and fade your entire thing. So I'm gonna do that. Longer, party seems longer. Makes me really want ya. Don't stop moving, you make me hot. All right, so now that I cleaned up my background vocals, I'm going to take a look at the lead. My number one piece of advice, and I know I got a lot of people tell me, oh, just throw a limiter on it or whatever RX plugin from Isotope, which are great options to use on your vocals. But I always like to manually take down my breaths, S's and T's in volume, because when you're just slapping on plugins, you're affecting the entire vocal when all you really need to do is focus on that one part. So it makes everything sound a lot smoother and a lot more leveled out. For example, this breath, I just want to highlight, command E, double click, and turn the gain down. And it just makes your breath sound a lot less in your face. You know, you have to remember that these are going through your vocal chains, so you don't want them as loud as the rest. Now I also hear some saliva clicks in here that I'm just gonna delete. Me now this is a really long breath since there was a big space I was able to get a deep breath and I want to keep the breath there but I just want a little part of it. Here it is normally. Okay so I just want to delete this first half, fade it in a bit and then edit that, turn it down a bit. I edit everything from breaths uh, lining up the S's and T's, I mean you name it, I edit it to make it sound perfect. I feel your flow. Get stronger. Stronger. All right, now you have yourself a clean vocal ready to mix. Now that Kara's recorded all the vocals that she needs into her Ableton template, let's go through and adjust these effects to better match this song. Now, the only other thing that we have down here on the channel that wouldn't come with your copy of the template is Auto-Tune. Everything else are the chains here that come in the template that you can download from IamCara.com. So let's take a listen at all the different effects that we have in here. Let's go back to the beginning and just start it from the top and see what we have. I'm going to turn off all these effects and let's just start with the reverb. Move your body, girl, makes the fellas go. The way you ride it, girl. Let's turn on the half note delay. Makes the fellas go. Makes the fellas go. I'm actually going to use this and I'm going to have this mute during this pause right here. Fellas go. Mute. Move your body, girl. Makes the fellas go. Let's turn the quarter note delay on and see what this sounds now. Your body girl makes the fellas go The way you ready it go makes the fellas go Move your body girl makes the fellas go Makes the fellas go Those tuck in really nicely with the vocal because we have this ducking here set to side chain the quarter note delays when it hears the vocal going. I might just have this not in the intro, and I think I just want to hear this quarter note echo when the drums are going. Here at the end too, I want to turn this quarter note echo off. So we're basically just using this little yellow button as an automation point to turn our different effects on and off for the spots that we want to hear them. Let's check out our eighth note delay. Move your body girl, makes the fill 
That gives the vocal a really nice bounce, but I don't think that sounds too appropriate for the intro. I think I might just use this maybe like to make the second verse feel cool. Let's try just hitting the letter A and let's automate this on just during the second verse. And let's take our quarter note show automation and let's turn it off for this spot because I feel like having an eighth and a quarter note at the same time is gonna compete a little bit. So we're just gonna create this really unique echo just for our second verse. Let's check out the slap. From head to toe. Hey. I feel your flow. That sounds nice. Vibes get stronger. Let's have that come on in the second half to just kind of raise the intensity of it. So let's turn the slap off and let's have this come on right here. From head to toe. I feel your flow. And we'll also have the half note delay come on right here too. From head to toe, I feel your flow. Let's actually take all these effects and automate them off right here. And we could do that really conveniently by just hitting show automation on this whole rack. Boom, automate this whole rack off. Party seems longer. Boom. Really easy way to make a quick dry spot anywhere in your song. I might even do that right here. Do this whole section. Hey. Maybe I'll do another dry spot right here before the big ooh to make the big ooh feel even more saturated. And then we'll have when the beat cuts out, the echoes. Make you go, go, go. Ooh. Boom. Your body go, makes the go. And let's mute our whole audio effect right here for the word go so it gets dry just for this ad lib. And it can even stay off right here for the first beat too because the vocals don't come back till beat two. Let's try turning the volume of the reverb down since we have a lot of slap and eighth delay. Let's make that be the apparent vibe instead of all this reverb, just for this one spot. Back up right here. And to give these ad libs a little bit more back and forth, I'm just going to paste them so they alternate between the two ad lib tracks that we have. One's panned a little bit left and the other's panned a little bit right. So let's just cut this, paste it up here. actually take the drive down on the beginning here. I don't think it needs to be quite as gritty in the very beginning of the song. I'm going to save the grit for when the drums come in. Move your body girl, makes the go. And I might even automate this low cut here on the vocal too. Move your body girl, makes the go. The way you ride it girl, makes the go. Ooh, your body girl, makes the 
and have it go up even more right here. We're basically just going to use the drive on the saturator as a preamp and we want less drive in the beginning and we want to kind of increase it as we get closer to the hook and then when we get to the full chorus. If I lick my lips, I'm probably feeling you. I'ma make you go, go, go. Boost this up a little bit, and let's also boost our low cut up, kind of like we did in the intro. And that's just going to help it feel like a significantly different part of the song, just by moving the low cut point. Move your body, girl, makes the fellas go. The way you ride it, girl, makes the fellas go. Ooh, move your body, girl, makes the fellas go. Makes the fellas go. And now since this part is really loud, let's turn the gain up a little bit more here. So let's have it go up during this part. Boom. Oh, you feeling now? Take it slow. You're turning me on. So now for this post chorus, I want to create a really unique effect. So I'm going to show automation and let's have this be the grittiest part of the whole song. And let's go for eighth note delay. Hey. And now for this last part, let's turn our eighth notes off. Boom. So since this is the outro, I want this to feel really intimate and focused, so I don't think we need any delays at all for this part. Maybe just the slap delay so that we have some effect, it's just not like a noticeable repeat kind of delay. Can you feel the beat within hey. my heart? Can't you see my love shines through the dark? Can't you see that you must be a part of that beat in my heart? So that's a perfect way to mix your lead vocal, just automating the effects that come in your template at imcara.com. And whether you're using the Ableton, Logic, Pro Tools, or FL Studio One, all of these effects are built in with 100% stock plugins ready for you to automate. And now the final effect that I want to do is a really unique trick. Let's go down to the pitch and modulation, and we're going to put an auto pan on this whole vocals group. So I'm going to be automating the speed and the amount of this. Let's start out by doing the amount. So a great shortcut here in Ableton to record some automation is to hit this button and this button. You just hit the record button. <laughs> Boom. And now we're just going to do a little bit of automation. I don't think I'm going to click it in the same way I did that last one. I might be able to just draw this in a little bit easier. So we kind of made this up and down shape. I just don't want it to go all the way down to zero. So I'm going to use these little bracket adjusters. I absolutely love doing automation in Ableton because of this. Boom. And I just held the option key to make the automation lines do this little bendy scoop thing. And that is a really cool effect just by sending tons of reverb and delay through an auto panner on the whole group, taking everything and modulating it in a really exciting way. So let's take a listen to our final hook going into this little outro that we made and then our actual quiet outro. <laughs>
the beat within my heart Can't you see my love shines through the dark Can't you see that you must be a part of that beat in my heart So there you have it, Kara's Ableton vocal template. If you want to get yourself a copy of this template to record and mix your vocals in, we put links to the description to this, FL Studio, Logic, and Pro Tools. My name is Reed Stefan, and we'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.